Gage here from Josh's Frogs, and today we're going to show you how to unpack some of our spiderlings that we send over for on your purchases. So it's going to come in something like this. Uh, it ounce deli container with a perforated lid on top. You're going to have the name, the order number, and what's in it. Um, if we don't have stickers available for them, we're going to write it in manually with a Sharpie marker. It's also going to be heat sealed. So you're going to need one, naturally the container which they come in enclosures for each and every tarantula that you have coming in. So this is gonna be for one of them, which is an avicular, avicular morph type one, or the common pink toe. We're gonna to have these on our site very soon here. And the Pterocallus cordatus mastov, which is the uh, Kilimanjaro mustard baboon, and it's a special locale of them, which we currently already have on the website. So I'm gonna set that right there, and there. You're also gonna want a utility knife or something to cut open the uh, heat seal, so that way you can get it off clean. Uh, some tongs, preferably the fine tip because the fine tips are going to do a lot better job at grabbing small pieces and also uh, pose less of a risk towards the spiderling. As well as something like a paintbrush or a makeup brush to coax the tarantula safely. So first what we're going to do, I'm going to grab my utility blade and I'm going to find an end to where I can slide this under and make a little nick of the heat seal. That's going to allow me to tear up the heat seal. Tear it like that. Once that's done, I'm going to set it to the side and I'm going to open up the container. I'm going to take off the top sheet of paper towel, revealing the tarantulas. Now, right here, the method I'm going to show you first is what we are using right now to pack our tarantulas. And it's just a flower vial with a piece of paper towel inside that we uh, put in there and then fold over when the tarantula's inside. And then after that, I'm going to show you a method that we are looking into switching over to um, to potentially redo how we shipped our tarantulas. So this is the enclosure I have made up for it. It's just a pretty much a seasoning bottle uh, with a lot of uh, side ventilation for the animal. That way uh, it can get proper aeration and uh, not really build up on a lot of humidity that could potentially be hazardous to the animal. I'm going to open the lid up. I'm going to pop off the cap here. And I'm going to, going to unfold the tip of the paper towel right here might even have to use my tongs a bit, so that way I can grab at it. The paper towel. And make sure the animal is not going to rush up. It doesn't look like he is, it still looks like he's down there. Um, sometimes you can grab it with your fingertips or with the tongs, and you're going to want to rotate as you pull, like that. And then from there, find the end of the paper towel, which is right down here. Gently unfold. I'm gonna lower myself down so that way the animal darts and it falls into the bin. And there we are. There's the pink toe. I'm just gonna gently coax it. Oh, let me grab this. Oh, it's on my hand. Now don't panic if it gets on your hand. This might happen. These guys like to fight and sometimes they can be very stubborn. Once he's in, I'm gonna grab my lid and rotate it. Make sure I'm not crushing him. Yep, there he is. There we go. And the second method here, something that we're looking into doing. Uh, it's something that was just newly pitched and we're still discussing it to see if it's something we wanna to go to. And it is a seven dram vial or a dram vial with holes uh, put into the top, uh, sphagnum moss on the bottom and very lightly packed sphagnum moss on top allowing the tarantula move, uh, areas to move around in as well as uh, not confining it so much but still allowing packing. And then electrical tape around the side to keep the lid on there. So you're gonna first find where the electrical tape ends, which is right there, and you're going to undo it. I'm gonna keep my thumb on top of the lid so that way it doesn't overtly pop open without me uh, wanting it to. Put that to the side. I'm gonna get my enclosure for the tarantula right here. Open it up. Take off the lid while it's still inside here. And the reason why we might want to switch over to this is because it's a lot easier to unpack it. You can uh, gradually take off pieces and put them into whatever bin. And he's actually right near the top. So once I see him, what I'm gonna do, get enough of a clearance right there. I'm gonna grab this, my uh, brush, and gently coax him in. Once he's in there, oh, just wanted to get out. I'm gonna 
the cap on, and there we go. And that is it. Um, now, this method is not live yet. I will disclose that, but it potentially will be. So if we uh, do switch over to this, that's actually gonna be how you want to unpack them. Um, we're looking at this method just because it's a way that we can evolve and also uh, safely ship animals and faster for us because we're seeing uh, mass amounts of uh, orders going on right now. So uh, yeah, that's gonna be how you're going to unpack your spiderlings once they're in. I uh, hope you have a great day and happy keeping. Thanks so much for watching this video. Here at Josh's Frogs, bringing nature to your doorstep is more than just our mission, it's our passion. We want you to have the most successful experience possible. So we're going to be here for you before, during, and after your purchase. Whether that's with our captive bred animals, plants, insects, or the wide variety of their care products on our website. You always have access to our dedicated customer service team, on-site nature experts, hundreds of free articles via our blog, and many more videos right here on our YouTube channel. So be sure to subscribe. We're always happy to help. Just shoot us an email or give us a call. You can find all of this information and more at joshesfrogs.com. Thanks again and see you next time.